All right, grass killing neighbor. All right, uh, fantasy revenge advice. Hello, Billiam. I'm a 23 year old male. I live with my parents in the country that even Australia makes fun. Oh wow, that even Australia makes fun of. Two from uh, Australians here. Uh, oh, New Zealand. Oh Jesus. I live with my parents in a country that even Australia makes fun of. New Zealand. I think you meant a part of a country. I can't read people. Uh, I love Ephesus for family and can't wait for season two. Thank you so much. Please tell more people in New Zealand about it if you haven't already. If you got the time, I'm not trying to put you out. If you don't want to be that douche, don't be the douche. But if you do, I'd, I'd appreciate it. All right. So here we go. Fantasy revenge advice. Some time ago, my father was using a lawn trimmer on the right side of the front yard, which is only a few feet from our neighbor's driveway. While trimming the edges, a small rock in the grass shot out and hit our neighbor's parked car in the driveway. Our neighbor was already at the front of his house and either saw or heard the bang and started yelling at my dad, who was apologetic. The rock, the rock put a small dent in the car, which was hard to see even close up. When I, when I was told what happened my dad, by my dad, I was a little pissed that he yelled, but I knew he had a right to be upset. And although it was an accident, my dad would happily pay for the damages because he knew he was at fault. Um, our neighbor didn't talk to us again about a bill or anything, so we quickly forgot about it and moved on. A few weeks later, I was at the front of our house, and I saw that the right side of our lawn was completely dead, a foot inwards. I realized this fucking cunt had poisoned the area of the grass that would usually be cut using the edge trimmer. Wow. This guy's got major communication issues. So this incident would never happen again, despite my, despite my dad telling him that he would only mow the lawn when the driveway was empty in the future. Um, I asked my dad if he knew anything, and he told me he had known for a few days but didn't want to make a big deal about it. My dad is a very easygoing guy who doesn't get bothered much. Myself, on the other hand, spent the night... Uh, the next few nights fantasizing about revenge. Oh, you looks like you take after your mother. All right, your dad's easy going. He married a fucking uh, hot blooded woman, and you know she calmed her down, right? And then you 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 got her fucking DNA. All right, I like I like where this is going so far. Even though I'm not a big revenge guy, your dad's easy going. It's his house. Already, my gut's saying your dad's easy going. It's his fucking house. You know. Um, don't do anything to disrupt it. Um, he said, I thought about doing the exact same thing to his lawn, but spelling out the words coward. Oh, my God, that's fucking hilarious. I thought about pulling out all of his plants and dumping it on his car to send a message. It's been a few months, and I still get pissed off when I think about it, but I decided not to stoop to his level and pull off a bitch move like that. The only option would be to confront him, but there is no scenario in which that would end well. Why not? Um, why not? Why can't you just next time you see him, just say like, dude, I got to tell you something. I haven't been on this planet for a long time, so maybe I need to see more bitchy behavior. But that's the biggest pussy bitch fucking. I ah, don't do that. It's going to. I don't know. I would just say, hey, do you have any idea why this part of the lawn died? Isn't that amazing? And I would do that to him every fucking time. Just do something to drive him nuts. Anyways, because I've decided to do nothing and moved on. But it's been about a year and I'm still thinking about it. What would you have done? Am I justified to be pissed, this pissed? And how the fuck do I stop myself from letting it get me in such a bad mood every time I walk past our front lawn and see the dead strip of lawn? Thanks for listening, Bill. Come back to New Zealand. Um, your lawn is still dead. Look, I'm not a big on revenge, but the great thing that you have right now is you've waited a year. Um, so if you were to do anything, obviously don't bring any physical harm to the person. Um, he does seem to love that car. <laughs> that, it's just, you, why would you do it? Um, why don't you guys re just replant the fucking grass? That's what I would do. I would replant the grass. This is what you do. Replant the grass and get all excited. And then without him knowing, what you do is you set up a fucking video camera. All right. And you just videotape and you, you try to catch him doing it. That's the best way to do it. Right. And then he has to fucking pay for it and then pay for the previous thing. The previous time he poisoned it. Like, that's what I would do. 
You know what I mean? There's obvious things that you could do. You could go to a fucking auto zone and buy one of those little catch trays that captures oil, you know? And then in the night, you could undo his fucking... <laughs> let all the oil out of his car, unscrew the thing on the oil pan, then you screw it back up, and then he seizes the engine on his car. You can go that route. You know? There's no oil in the fucking car. Um, the key is what you have to do is... He would still figure it out. See, he can't do This is all bitchy fucking moves. You know what I mean? You got to have a face-to-face thing. Or what I would do is I would just replant, replant the grass and I would set up a fucking video camera. And maybe you just say that. Just say, hey, just so you know, if you plan on poisoning our grass, because I know you're not a man and you would never say anything to my dad or myself's face, you know, just so you know, I got um, this security. You're going to be on video and we're going to catch you doing it, Okay. All right, it costs us a lot of money, and I, you're, you, I oh, my God, what a, uh, in a perfect world, couldn't you just go over and just fucking, he just answers the door, and you go, huh? And you just boot him right in the nuts, huh? And then you just take a strip of the dead grass, and you just start fucking beating his back with it. That's what the fuck you want to do. I, you know what? I actually want to do that right now, but you know what? You can't do it. You know what? Fuck him. He did it to you. He did it to you. Oh, dude, you know something? I think you're. I think what you came up with is the best. Why don't you just write coward? Nah, because then he's going to do something else to your dad's house. Oh, this guy's a cunt. You know what? He doesn't have the balls to confront your dad. So what I think you do, yeah, do the little coward thing and then set up video cameras and catch him doing something else. But then you've done something to him. See, it's just it's just awful. It's just this bitchy tit for fucking tat thing. I don't know what you have to do, but I feel like something has to be said at least. I know what you do. This is what you do. You go down to a fucking lady shoe store. All right. And you buy a cheap pair of fucking women's shoes. And next time you see, you wrap it up like a present and you just give it to him. (laughs) And there's a card in there and everything. And then you just, this is what you do. You do that. You just humiliate the guy. And you just open up and just say, hey, sweetheart. Just want to, you, you, you just write from your heart about what a fucking bitch he is. And this is what you do. Don't ever, don't curse in it at all. Write it really nice and lovely. Um, but you, in that, without ever cursing, just let him know what an absolute fucking pussy he is for doing that. There you go. Oh, that's I, I think that you know what? I think that's a winner. You know what? I might have to I might have to outsource this to my listeners. If you guys have better ideas and what to do there, nobody gets hurt. You made your point. It's fucking hilarious. And that's a funny, you know, you tell people that this guy did it and they go, so what'd you do? You tell him I went out. I went to a lady's <laughs> shoe store and I bought him a pair of pumps. <laughs> And then you get to laugh. And every time you see him, just wave and just start calling him sweetheart. Give him a pet name. Maybe you give him a woman's name, like Diane or something. Just, hey, Diane, how'd you like the shoes? And just every fucking day. You can just do that forever. I don't know. It made me feel better about the situation. Maybe you can do that. Who the fuck knows? Anyways, good luck with that. Uh, but don't do any physical harm or real property damage. That's the, the the brilliance. I must have said genius. Pat myself on the back there. Sorry about that. Um, that's that's what I like about the last plan is that you're not hurting him. You write it eloquently. You're not cursing. There's nothing he can really do. You just bought him a gift that you give you give a woman. It's perfect. You know. I'd send him some candy on Valentine's Day. Just ah, just torture the guy. But you just keep giving him gifts. You know? I don't know what else. What's some... Get him some flats. <laughs> just, I don't know. Just a bunch of shit like that. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Maybe you just do it once and then that's it. And then what you do... And then right after that, you replant the grass... And then you just let him know that you know that he did it. And he's going to be too much of a bitch to try to do it again. And um, then you can tell your dad years later that that's... Don't tell your dad that you did it. And then years later, you tell him that you did it when you're having a pint. You guys can fucking laugh your balls off.